Ignition mate. Ignition system troubleshooting made easy. Ignition systems can be difficult to trace, especially on vehicles where the wiring looms and components are in difficult to reach places. The most common method of troubleshooting is swapping out components until the fault disappears. If you're lucky, the faulty component is quickly found, but this method is usually very frustrating and time consuming. Sometimes a fault can be as simple as a corroded contact, perhaps found only after your customer has returned his vehicle three or four times. Or the fault is on a component which is not at first believed to be part of the ignition system, such as a battery or a shorted voltage regulator. This experience can turn out to be very costly for you and your customer. Ignition Mate is designed to troubleshoot the ignition system whilst on the vehicle. No need to disconnect wires for resistance measurements or remove components for bench testing. Ignition Mate allows you to quickly zoom in on the area where the fault could be and then with your basic understanding of what signals should be seen assists in solving the problem. Ignition signals are short duration pulses of energy that are normally difficult to measure especially the high voltage spark delivered by the spark plug. A digital multimeter cannot measure and may even be damaged by high energy ignition pulses whereas the ignition mate is able to measure and translate all ignition signals into industry accepted values. The ignition mate kit consists of the instrument, a combination high voltage caliper and current sensor, black and red test leads which come with crock clips and back probes that allow easy access into connectors without damage, a stick coil adapter to allow measurement of secondary voltage on stick coils, a manual with tips, line diagrams and ignition system information, a 12 volt DC cord used to recharge the internal battery or supply power to the earlier models, and a carry case to store the instrument and accessories. Three different signals can be displayed on the vertical bar graph displays. The spark display is used to determine if and where there is current flowing in the system. Voltage can be present in the system but without stable and consistent current there will be no spark at the plug. Honing in on the reason for a misfire is easier, such as a poor connection or component failing under load. The KV scale is used to measure spark plug or ignition coil secondary voltage, check reserve voltage of a coil secondary up to 40 kV and cranking voltages as low as 3 or 4 kV. The polarity plus minus switch determines the polarity of the pulses. Single output coils usually deliver negative pulses. Dual output coils have a positive and negative output. Use the volts peak scale to measure ignition coil primary and stator coil voltage up to 400 volts, pulse coil or pickup sensor voltage up to 40 volts, and DC voltage of the battery and charging system. Two signals can be displayed simultaneously. The most useful comparisons are spark current and voltage to the spark plug, ignition coil secondary and primary voltage to check if the coil is responding to the signal from the ignition control module, input voltage and current to the ignition coil primary and stator charge coil voltage and current. Ignition Mate can troubleshoot any type of ignition system, from AC CDI on kick or pull start vehicles, DC CDI on electric start power sport vehicles or engines, transistor types found on modern power sport vehicles and automotives, and even magneto types with combination stator and ignition coils. The application of this versatile tool is based on two simple points. Firstly, Different types of ignition systems have the same basic components. And secondly, the signals measured are generally similar in nature. Any ignition system is made up of some or all of the following components. 1. 
a power supply that provides the raw power to the ignition system. This could be either a high energy exciter coil, also known as the stator or charge coil, or a 12 volt battery, or a combination of both. Two, switches which control or inhibit power to the ignition system. These include the ignition key, the safety switches such as the kill switch, foot stand, neutral and clutch sensors. 3. Ignition Control Unit, or ICU, which converts raw power into timed energy pulses. 4. Ignition Timing Pickup, signals the ICU when to release an energy pulse into the ignition coil. This could be a pulse coil or magnetic hall sensor. 5. The ignition coil converts the energy pulses into very high voltage pulses. 6. The spark plug converts the high voltage pulse into a naked spark that ignites the fuel mixture. Some modern fuel injected engines have an integrated ignition and fuel system control unit. Use the vehicle manufacturer information to determine how fuel system components such as a throttle switch or a fuel mixture sensor may influence ignition system operation. The Ignition Mate kit contains everything necessary to fault find any ignition system, but it's not a magic tool. Your willingness to learn about ignition systems while using the Ignition Mate determines how effective your troubleshooting will be. The manual contains tips to get any technician with limited knowledge started. The website has downloads and a forum to swap information with technicians all over the world who are frustrated by ignition problems. Take some time out and learn about your customers' vehicles. Create a database by copying the service data page in the manual. Take a couple of readings and jot down information on the vehicle's ignition system. The next time that vehicle or a similar model comes in with an ignition problem, you'll have data on hand to solve the problem quickly and effectively. Now that you're up to speed, let's use the ignition mate to troubleshoot some faults. This vehicle doesn't start. Let's start by hooking the caliper to the plug lead. This is what I should see. This is what we're getting. Here are some important tips before we carry on. Identify the vehicle make and year of manufacture. Use the appropriate manual and electrical diagrams to identify the type of ignition system, ignition components and cable connections. Locate ignition components and wiring on the vehicle and find suitable points where you can hook up the caliper and red and black leads. If necessary, remove the tank, seat and panels restricting access to the engine. To visually inspect the condition of cables, inline connectors and ignition system components for signs of wear or damage. Write down all values measured during troubleshooting. I'm hooking the caliper to the wire feeding the ignition coil primary to see if current is flowing between the engine control unit and the ignition coil. Let's see if the voltage to the coil is high enough. I should see at least 80 to 100 volts. What we've diagnosed is there is power to the ignition coil, but there's no power from the ignition coil. So the problem is the ignition coil. The battery and charging system are important components in any electric start vehicle's ignition system. Avoid making the battery part of the ignition problem by maintaining it while the vehicle is in storage. Some fuel injection and ignition controllers have low voltage cutouts that may affect ignition operation. Select the 10 volt peak scale and connect the leads to the battery. During cranking the voltage should not drop below 10 volts. If the result is poor, use a battery mate to recharge the battery before proceeding. 
The same troubleshooting principles can be applied to ignition systems in different vehicles, such as an ATV, a modern sports bike with stick coils, a car or pickup, a ride-on mower, and even a classic motorcycle. Ignition Mate is powered by internal NIMH batteries. The instrument powers down if no signal is measured for five minutes. A power cord is provided for recharging. Connect to a 12 volt battery or use a suitable DC power supply. A low battery LED indicates when recharging is necessary. A rubber holster prevents damage. The red and black silicon cables cannot be damaged by extreme heat from hot engines or exhausts. All these features make IgnitionMate the professional's choice for troubleshooting ignition circuit defects.